In this video, we're going to be looking at how to solve two step equations. In this case, we'll have a variable, in this case x, or down here, the variable is m. We want to get it by itself, so we know what that variable equals. These are equations that we are solving, so we can figure out what the variable will equal in each case. And as the name suggests, to solve this, we're going to have to do two separate steps to get uh, the variable by itself. In number one, we have to get rid of the three, and we have to get rid of the five. So there are the two steps that we'll be doing. So for number one, actually before I move on here, what you might want to do, especially if you're reviewing for a test or a quiz or something, you may want to pause the video right now and write these down, give them a try yourself, and then start the video back up and check your answer. Make sure you did it properly. So for number one, three x plus five equals negative seven. What does x equal? We can figure it out no problem. Two things we need to do is we need to get rid of this times negative three and we need to get rid of this plus five. Let's start with the five. Whenever you want to get rid of something, whenever you want to remove it, you always want to do the opposite. So the opposite of plus five is minus five. Five minus five is zero. That cancels. I need to do a minus 5 over here. Now, let's rewrite what's left. 3x is still there. The 5's are gone. Negative 7 minus 5 is negative 12. Alright, well now let's, we basically have here just a one step equation now, so this is very easy. 3 times x equals negative 12. Let's get rid of that times 3. The opposite of multiply is to divide. So to get rid of that times three, we will divide by three. Three by three, three divided by three equals one. So they cancel out. But since this is an, is an equation, whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side as well. So I divided this side by three, I better divide the right side by three as well. So now x is equal to negative 12 divided by three is negative four. There you go. In the next problem, we have two things we need to get rid of again, so this is still a two-step equation. We want to get rid of this divided by two, we want to get rid of this minus five. Again, let's start with this term right here, let's get rid of this minus five. Remember our goal is to get the m all by itself. So let's get rid of this minus five, the opposite of minus five is plus five, the opposite of subtraction is addition. So negative five plus five cancels. It equals zero. Whatever we do to the left side, adding five, we better do to the right side as well to make sure this thing stays equal. So let's rewrite what's left. M divided by two, the fives are gone, equals negative two plus five equals three. Now let's still work on the m getting it by itself. How do you get rid of a divided by two? You get rid of it by doing the opposite. The opposite of divide is multiply. So to get rid of divided by two, we will multiply by two. Two divided by two, of course, is one, so they cancel. But remember, Equations are like a teeter-totter. If you're going to make a change to one side to keep it balanced, you need to make the same change to the other side. If I multiply this side by 2, better multiply that side by 2 as well. So what's left? m is equal to 3 times 2 is 6. So there's our solution. So hopefully if you are checking your own answers, hopefully you got x equals negative 4 for the first one, and then m is equal to 6 in the second solution.